Is there anybody up here? <laughs> what the f was that? Dude, are we stuck up here? Please. Tonight is our scariest, our biggest, our most insane ghost at home episode to date. Yeah, guys, this is where a body, a casket was found. And it's... Find my body. Oh, oh my God. My God. <laughs> Whoa. Angelo? Angelo, is it? What the f is that? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Screamtober. So as you guys know, we're doing a massive marathon here on the second channel where we're uploading some of the craziest videos that I've ever filmed over from the main channel. And this one, oh my God, I, this is one location that I really want to go back to. This is called Father John's, basically a church slash brewery. And I know how crazy that sounds because it is, <laughs> but it is very haunted. And we stayed here for the night and oh my God, the paranormal activity was through the roof. So guys, get ready. If you are excited for this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And with that being said, roll the footage. What's up everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Ghosts at Home. Tonight is our scariest, our biggest, our most insane Ghosts at Home episode to date. Reason for that is because this isn't just your ordinary home. This is a home, a church, a distillery, a restaurant, a sanctuary, and a crypt. Yes, we are standing in the crypt room right now. Don't pan the camera down, Angelo, because I want to save this for the video. They found a coffin underneath right where we are at. You can see it right here. We don't know what's in there. We don't know who's in there, but we're gonna attempt to find that out tonight. The owner of this property was doing some digging around, basically just trying to find some artifacts and he's found a ton. There's a whole bunch over there, some crosses, some old photos and mirrors. It, it's pretty crazy, but when he was digging in this room, the whole floor below him just opened up. Once they removed all the rubble and all the rocks, they came across a coffin that was wedged deeper within the foundation of this property. Now, they're unable to open this. They're unable to basically even pull this coffin out, but you can see it. And we don't know what's in there. We don't know who's in there, but we're gonna do our best to try and communicate with the spears that are here, maybe even in the coffin, and see what's going on in this area. Maybe put a name to the person that is buried there. Now, the crazy thing is, is you have to wonder, that's just one coffin, right? But this place is from the 1800s. So we have over 100 years of history. How many more coffins or bodies are here that we don't even know about? So this is going to be a crazy night. I'm just going to say we've had some wild experiences tonight so far. Um, some voices we caught on camera. Some bangs, doors slamming in our face. Me running screaming like I always do. So yeah, just be prepared and headphone warning already. I'm just going to throw that out there. But... Get ready for our craziest and most insane video of all time. I'll tell you that right now. If you guys are excited for this video and you want to see more, make sure to smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and help me get to 500,000 subscribers. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to win some signed free merch, simply just comment your size down in the comment section below and that's it. You're entered. Good luck to everybody. And uh, with that being said, we're about to start investigating in the crypt room, but you guys are about to watch what happened when we first entered into the home portion of this property. Take a look. You ready, Angelo? Uh, ready when you are. Let me just take a little peek inside. Okay. I can't see much, but I think I see like a photo on the wall. Cool. All right. I also just noticed that this uh, thing right above you 
<laughs> what the? Is that a goat? I think so. Huh. That's funny. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, ways that could be interpreted religiously. But let's continue. <laughs> oh, wow. The place Ooh. is actually really nice. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, those are the photos I saw on the wall. Come oh, on in. Yeah. All right, well, the place is absolutely massive, so what do you think? Uh, I go left, you go right? Uh, sure. I go right, you go left? Doesn't yeah. Matter. All right. Wow. Look at this place. There's another damn goat or whatever that is on the wall. There's some really old photos. I wonder if these people maybe have anything to do with the place. There's also this one right here. It's a little baby. Look at the little baby. I wonder if... Hmm. How does this... Do I have to like pump it up? I'm not sure, I've never used this before. Oh, I got it. Look at that. Sorry guys, I'm not a pianist. I'm just like, yeah. But there's a whole bunch of photos here. Look at these. Is there anybody here with us in this house? Baptism and confirmation. Wow. Fancy. Wonder if it works. Oh, she works. Got a little tree. What the hell? Jazz? Angelo? Uh what's wrong? That door literally just moved. Here, I'll go take a look. Yeah. We'll just use you as a sacrifice. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bathroom. That's it. Pains in my chest. What the hell did I just say? Pains in my chest. Yeah. Bro! Remember what Austin told us? Yeah. Austin gave us a tour basically of like the entire location, but he was also telling us stories of this area. This is like the the, the home area basically, mm -hmm. right? But this area is haunted as well. There yeah. is a little girl that tends to run upstairs. Yeah. That literally sounded like running. Yeah. Like the whole ceiling just kind of shook. Okay, you know, let's stay together from now on. I'll turn this off. Uh, Look at these photos. Yeah, man, I saw a whole bunch of like older okay. photos. I just heard it again, I think. Clear as day, okay. Others. Others, Others. okay. <sighs> it's time to get serious here. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Thank God I have this. Who's up there? They don't know the girl's name. No. Right? But there is a tombstone outside that potentially could be of the girl. What was her name again? Oh, damn. I don't even remember. She has anymore. a very unique name. Uh, Menorah? She scares people. Whoa! <laughs> she Dude, scares as people. As soon as I said the name. Menorah, you're Menorah, right. Menorah, yeah. Menorah Minger. I don't remember the last name. But... Menorah Minger, I remember on the tombstone. Okay. Menorah, come out and play. That's usually what you say to children's yeah, spirits. normally. Okay. This is a very religious property and you're going to see items from all over the world that hold something of every religion you could imagine, right? 
And a lot of people believe that maybe some of the hauntings are from some of these items or relics. Go mm -hmm. down. What did you say? <laughs> Go down. But we were just down there. And when maybe it wants us to go to the other parts of the property? Maybe? I don't know. Can you elaborate a little bit? Yeah, like look at all of these just like photos on the wall. The I don't know, I'm kind of getting... So her room was over here, I believe. Yep. That room right there, they say that uh, it's the most active, very... Explore. Well, that's kind of what we're doing. All right, we'll go there in a second. Um, Did you hear that? I heard something, yeah. What was that? It came from in here. Okay. See anything? Uh, no, nothing. Literally nothing. It's just an empty room with lots of photos. These are some... Look at these photos, man. Whoa, now those are old. Hmm. This might be the coolest go sale home video I've ever done. And it's not necessarily... What? Nurse. Huh. We were just looking at that photo. Was someone in these photos a nurse? My body's around here. Bro, wow. That's so significant. It is very significant. <laughs> uh, I talked about it in the intro a little bit. There is a here. crypt. Wow. <laughs> You're gonna see the crypt later with the, J just get ready. Menorah, are you here? Oh, okay. That's a big picture of Jesus kind of took me by surprise. Hi, Jesus. Oh, bro. What? If this is Menorah's room. Menorah. Wow. They're, they should, could be in this photo. Maybe. All right, let's test something. Menorah, I want to test something with you. Every person in this photo, I'm going to number. From left to right, bottom to top. A bad spirit. What? A bad spirit. Oh boy. So for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on upward. Can you please give us a number to let us know which four. one? Four. Oh. Oh, oh my god! Oh. That is the coolest thing ever! So four would be... This one right here. Rosemary. Or is four Rosemary? I don't know. Now I'm fucking confused. <laughs> right. I'm also really confused. I don't know, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> so the four would be the fourth one on the bottom. Okay. If that is spiritually accurate right? right because that was some the most insane thing I've yeah. ever experienced. <laughs> okay thank you very much for communicating with us uh should we go to the attic now or six A six wait so this is six and this is four now Another you a bad spirit here, the others scare me. Wait, did oh. you hear that? Yeah, yeah, I did. Clear as day. That was a weird sound. What the hell was that? It sounded like a whistle? Mm hmm. It's weird because we were his weird hearing whistling from the location last night. Right. I'm wondering if potentially something's following us. Uh, I'm right next to you. Okay. Where? <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Okay. Um, this goes down. This is a closet. Yo, Angelo, look over here. 
Wait, Angelo. Yeah. Why is the attic door open? No, 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 no. Wait, what? The attic door is locked. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a sign. Yeah, probably. Ah. Uh, so we're not Matthew. going to the uh, Matthew. Okay. Did that just do it back? Like I tapped on the door, did it just? Yeah. Is that Matthew? Oh my God. There's like a taxidermy raccoon up here that scared the shit out of me. Are you sure it's taxidermy? I hope to God it is. <laughs> <laughs> Cause if there's an actual raccoon at the top there. Uh... We may have a problem. Okay. All right, well, this is where we're gonna be staying tonight. We gotta pick our rooms and pick them, pick them carefully. Uh, yeah. Obviously the most active one is gonna be um, the room of the little girl that we- I've been following you. Bro. No, no shot, no <laughs> shot, bro. <laughs> Excuse my French. No, actually French, French initiated. What the f is going on? <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that's is more Ecuadorian, but- Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, all right. Well, <sighs> thank you so much for communicating with us, Menorah. We hope to. Someone mm -hmm. like stepped right next to me. Do you mean harm? No, 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 no. Uh, we come in peace. We are simply just exploring and trying to share your story. So if you would like to continue f giving us any information you have what, what the what? fuck what? what what come here come here come here, come here. What, what is it on god on bed or er, angelo on everything i fucking love right in that door the the crack in the door i saw like an eye like something blink what bro yeah <laughs> yeah Did yeah you say yeah Realm. Realm. That's so Bro, weird. Bro, it was almost like something like yeah. opened up here like an Bernice. eye. Yeah. Okay. Um, Maybe it was just Bernice? All right, Bernice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I will communicate with you later. Um, we got to talk about what we're going to do first because there's a lot of land to cover here. What are you thinking? I... I mean, there's the church. There's the crypt. I think I'm saving the crypt for last. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of... Joe, okay. Um, yeah, I'm kind of good with the church, I think. Okay, so church. Then we can maybe go down to the brewery. Sure. Or uh, the old police department. We can go outside. There's a lot mm -hmm. to do here. Yeah. But, um, all right, let me go get the rest of my equipment. Let's get this nice started. So everybody, get ready for probably the most jam-packed, probably the longest Go sat at home video. I'm getting a little cho like choked up right now. I don't know why. Um, this is a very different episode of Go at Home because there's a lot here. This was once a church that is now still a church, but also now a home and also now a distillery, which is the weirdest combination of things. <laughs> it's so, so weird, but um, I'm not going to judge. I'm just going to explore. And um, yeah, with that being said, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Also, make sure to go check out Angelo's version of this location because all the footage you see here you will not see over there and vice versa we will both have our own original footage so more footage for you guys all right mm -hmm. angelo you ready yep let's right, go let's... pray they heard me <laughs> <laughs> we've only explored the house portion of this property and we're already experiencing all this paranormal activity we still have so much more to explore the church the restaurant, the crypt. Ugh. Okay guys, before we head on into the church, I'm very excited for, I wanna to talk to you about a couple of things that have happened here, some things that have been found here. So John or Father John, as he's known by, by the name of this location, he, when he purchased the location, did a lot of digging and he found tons of artifacts, religious items, photos, 
mirrors, all tons of random and some creepy things too. Uh, for example, this place before everything was once a massive church that burnt down. So this right here is from like the original church, this whole stone fireplace segment right there. Everything else was basically added on. Over there is where we just were, the home section. Down there is uh, Genghis Khan, but <laughs> also the basement. Yeah, so you might be wondering why if this place is a monastery, why there's a bunch of items of different religions? Well, John has this hobby where he goes around the world. I'm talking like every country possible and visit, like tries to study every religion possible and just purchases at either auctions or stores or whatever he can, all types of artifacts and items that may or may not be haunted. Uh, from every single religion, which here's the thing too, they actually believe that the spirits that are here that were attached to these items are not happy with that. And there's like a cultural war going on here between the spirits. They've heard like different voices like talking over another as if they were arguing and, you know, things flying off the counters, off the shelves in the basement, in the restaurant area. So yeah, but back to the story, when John was doing all that digging, there was this one part Earlier you heard me mention a crypt. Well, there was one part when he was digging, the floor just gave in and it all fell down deeper. They took the rubble out and they found a coffin that God knows how long that's been there. God knows who's in there. God knows how long that's just been sitting there. But let's just say that we are going to be able to see it tonight and uh, investigate around it. So I, I'm very excited for that, but that's something that I kind of want to ease into because I, right now I'm kind of on edge, uneasy, if you will. So get ready. We're going to be visiting some crazy hot spots on this massive property. But first, the church, because I think it's probably the coolest place. But let me just say, there's not an inch on this property that isn't active, that isn't haunted. So here we go. Look at that stained glass over there, man. Look Beautiful. at Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah. Oh, well, like I said, a lot of religions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But look, look at all the church pews and. It's that. an interesting combination of everything. Yeah, it really is. It's. it's... What was that? What the f? Bro, it's like something was running up yeah. there. Yeah. Hold on. See anything? I see. Feel. Uh, I see a mirror up there. Okay. Uh, so earlier, Angelo had an experience where he saw a shadow figure, mm -hmm. like a shadow man. That room up there, that is the nursery room. And for some reason, there is an angry uh, man spirit that's in there. I don't know why in the nursery room, but... Okay, uh, evidently one of us is going to have to go check this out. Um, we literally just got here. All right, I'll no, go. not here. What? No, not here. So are you up there? All right, I'll go. Okay. I got my phones with me. I'll have one of them running Spear Talker. And I don't know, I, I, I think this may be probably a really stupid idea, but... I'll go check that out if you want to continue investigating down here. Uh, sure. I want to share with you a crazy story that we all experienced while we were doing a tour of the place with Austin. So this right here is a meditation area and essentially it's for Buddhism. Um, and Austin was telling us the story on how they are one with frequency. So essentially you'll hear them say Om, Om, and Om. yeah. and that's basically connects them, opens them up with the universe. And he was like, that was a bang. Mm -hmm. um, while he was explaining that, he's like, all right, well, let's go upstairs. We start walking and we hear um, from the church right. and we got it on camera. So I'm going to play that for you guys right here. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, I heard that. Like a voice? Yeah. 
I just recorded that too. I got that, yeah. So yeah, uh, that was crazy. And uh, well, with that being said, I'm gonna go check out what that was up there, the running, and maybe come across that angry man spirit. Mm -hmm. um, good luck down here. Thanks. I have my other phone, so I'll, I'll be using this to, to record. All right. Good luck, Angelo. Good luck. All right, guys, well. <sighs> okay, uh, so my phone wasn't saying the response out loud, but the last thing it said was, I'm a man. And uh, that's where the angry man is up there, so that's fantastic. Let's go check this out. <sighs> Can you share any more information? You just said that you, you're a man. Can you share anything else with me? Maybe why is a man lingering in the nursery room? Burnt. Okay. Oh, <gasps> the initial fire that happened when the original church burned down. Oh shit. Okay, um, here we go. So one thing I did notice about this room in- Duh! Is the amount of mirrors in here, and they're all facing each other. I'm like fucking frozen. I see Angelo's light down there, Angelo. Angelo, if you hear me, please come over here. Holy shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I have my flashlight. I'm sorry what happened to you. I'm sorry that you burnt or the original church burnt. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna have a seat for a second. <sighs> That was me when I sat down on here. Um, Austin said that he heard crying coming from this room and the room right over here. Bef we can whisper. Okay. Um, we can whisper. Okay, hold on. Hello? It's just a storage room. Like just a storage room for Christmas stuff and whatnot. Oh, there's a door back here too. Okay. What the hell? Hello? Okay, I'm gonna simply nope out of that one. I'm just assuming that like the building's so old, it's just creaking now. Actually, hold on. I want to try that one more time. Just because like, I'm, I'm genuinely like wondering if I was to... Okay. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. This is the creepiest thing ever. My story. I, I definitely will. Holy guacamole. Forest demon. Okay, these are uh, attractions. You scare the living hell out of me. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh my God, hold on. There's something in my eye right now. I'm rubbing. Ah, uh, okay, hold on. Okay, sorry. That caught me by surprise. It's the shit out of me. She will harm you. Whoa, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. She will harm you. 
Oh, I don't like hearing that. I don't like hearing that. Okay, so I'm facing the mirror right now. <sighs> facing, I mean. Angel! Yeah? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What is it? Okay, first off, I'm turning this off. Dude, that fucking nursery room. Yeah. I'm getting some really bad vibes in there, first and foremost. Um, dude, the responses, the door just fucking slammed. Dude, listen to this, listen to, I just got, I'm a woman, I will appear. But right before I went upstairs, I said, I'm a man. And then it said burnt. I'm thinking Ooh. from the initial church. Oh, maybe. <sighs> yeah. But then it said earlier, she will harm you. I'm a woman. I will appear. Hmm. <sighs> Oof. You heard that shit from up yeah. there? Yeah. I was wondering what the hell was going on. Dude, there was like, it, it, it genuinely felt like there was multiple people in that room. Hmm. Are you still here with us? This place is insane. <sighs> Again, yeah. footsteps upstairs. Yeah. What is your name? Can you please share with us your name? Or maybe Blanche is the name. B-L-A-N-C-H-E. Could be. -E. Yeah, I've never... Communicate. Is it Communicate. <coughs> well, it seems like they're doing that. Oh yeah, that's for sure. That is for sure, bro. Okay, um, enough splitting up, please. Mm -hmm. I like I like splitting up because you know, it gives them multiple POVs. But bro, I'm thinking we just stay together now. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. Holy fuck. That could be a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, Anything else over there on the stage? Not really, no. I had a weird camera malfunction at one point, so I was trying to fit Body. in with that. Body. Whoa. Do you want us to come down to the crypt? Oh my god. Hold on. I'm a man burnt. Mm -hmm. What if in the initial fire, because they don't know where the, that uh, coffin... Hey. They don't know what era that coffin's from. They yeah. don't know who's in there. They don't know anything about it. There's what no if, info. When I said a man burnt and then body. I'm just throwing it out there. What if it was like during that time, and obviously when the church burnt down, they just maybe buried, buried bodies, underneath. right? Maybe. Yeah. Or it could know. have been there from the original church, who knows? Yeah, they just yeah. didn't know. Oh, brother. I will say, this is easily probably the coolest looking location mm -hmm. we have ever been to. Um, I really do want to go down to the crypt now because this is kind of like, I'm gonna run two spear talkers at once. Get as many responses as we can right now because it's, it's so damn active. Dude, it's crazy because we were just filming for Antelope's channel as well and it was insane, the things that were going on, especially downstairs. What the hell was that? I heard that. It, it almost sounded like something metal. Yeah. My name is Irene. My name okay. is Irene. Well, there's something in this area right here. Oh, I heard it again. Yeah. What is that? Clear as day. I... Margaret. Okay, we're getting a lot of names right now. Okay. Angelo, you want to go right, I go left? Sure. Just to make sure. an obstacle course over here. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I feel like we're doing the pacer test. Yeah. Nothing. What's making all these damn sounds and whatnot? I don't know. I mean, I want to blame it on old building problems, but that's some the of thing. Them are just they, they just it does match. Oh, look at this. The oh, Methodist wow. Church. What the hell? Something was just, I want to show you guys. Something was just grabbing my arm. What? Yeah, something was like grabbing my arm. Hold is there, is there something on my arm? 
Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It was just like, it, was, <laughs> it felt like, it felt like spider webs, but there's nothing here and I didn't see anything on my arm. That's weird. Yeah. But I kept going like this and it was just kept like holding on. Oh, that's odd. Yeah. Irene or Margaret, was that you? Okay, well, let's head down the stairs. Mm -hmm. There's something about this church area that's very unsettling. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but I can 100% say there is something going on in that nursery room. There is something dark up there. I mean, when that door closed, man, I thought my soul left my body. Are you all right, Angela? We love talking. Uh, we love talking. All right. Uh, we love listening, so. Mm -hmm. I want to show you guys all the cool artifacts that they found while digging in this place. It's down in the basement. Um, hello, Genghis. How you doing? Never gets old. <laughs> the first couple times we walked in here, we, we literally shit our pants because we thought oh, it was dude. someone was standing Every there. time. Admire. Admire, I do. Uh, so these right here, these are Hindu flags. Um, so you're, you're going to see a lot of religion, a lot of culture, down here especially. And like I said, a lot of the spirits may not be uh, with that. Mm -hmm. So look at some of these things that they found while digging here. I mean, I can't tell if that's like an old photo or an old mirror over there. I mean, look at these old like chalices. Crosses, a lot in here as well. Some of these things, I, I God knows what it's from. Some of the stuff was put in there. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, but like these things, it's Pretty crazy. Cool. I like it. All right, I like it a lot. After you, Angela. Uh, okay, cool. I don't know why, but it smells delicious down here. I did something bad. Huh. I did something bad. Could you share with us what you did? Do you maybe want to confess <laughs> in the confession booth? Yeah, that's what I would do. This is crazy over here. Ready? Yeah, All ready right. when you are. Yeah. Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Very medieval yep. feel down here. I'm genuinely curious. I want to see down below in the comment section how many of you guys think that you could survive the night at Father John's Brewery this entire property. Do you guys think you could do it? If so, comment hashtag yes down in the comment section below. If not, comment hashtag no. We're gonna see the results of this because I'm, I'm very curious. After seeing almost all the play so far, what do you think? These right here are actual pieces from tombstones, headstones. Um, so there's that. And um, man, I don't know what it is about this area. It's like something just moved in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we're hearing like the heater could be something like that. Can you give us some other sort of sign to let us know that you are here? That was like, dun dun dun. Yeah. Where would that even come from? I have no idea. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, okay. that's what he yeah. sounded like. Yeah. I am not going out in the woods. No. No. No shot. Sorry. Not tonight. Um, okay. This is such a creepy area. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Um, so there is a coffin back here. This isn't the coffin that we mentioned, the crypt that they dug up and found still there. Uh, this was another one that was found, but they opened it. There was nothing in there. there they put some like stone statue head in there. But yeah, that's back there. The one we're going to investigate in a bit is uh, has been unopened and uh, 
a lot of mystery surrounding it. So maybe we will be the first ones to get some information from there. So that's what we're hoping. Worth a try. Is there anybody in this room? Um, is there anybody sitting in this master chair right here? It's the V for Vendetta chair. Construct. Can what? Construct. Are you constructing a chair? Constructing a response? Constructing... I swear I just heard like a voice or something down there. Did you hear that? I, I didn't. Um, guys, if you heard something, let us know. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, there's some weird sounds. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Look at the shadow on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> 100 percent uh, okay thank you for communicating with us thank you f what the mouse was that here uh i don't know i see like th there's mice like all over the place like these yeah. stuffed ones because you could buy them and they're just kind of like in random areas yeah like, like there's one right there there's one right here one, yeah <laughs> okay yeah um you want to go see the crypt, guys? Of course you do. Come on. Of course. Come on. Why wouldn't you? Oh. Why wouldn't you want to go have dinner above of a dead body? <laughs> yeah, that's a real thing, guys. They, they eat on top of the dead body. Not that I... Listen, I have my own beliefs on things. I don't even film in cemeteries because <laughs> I have my own beliefs and stuff like that. This is something completely different. Eating mm -hmm. on top of, like... Let me know what you guys think. I'm genuinely curious. What do you think about that? You'll see what I mean in a second. Please wait to be seated. Ha. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, now you're going to start noticing a lot more religious items here from all over. A whole bunch here. We got Buddha on the table. And then... I'm only seven. Huh. Child spirit. Yep. This bar right here is in the shape of a cross. Really cool. Really, really cool shape of a cross. Uh, we got another Genghis Khan over here. I don't know where those chandeliers are from, but I know those are of some religion or culture, mm -hmm. but cool as well. They are, uh Quite badass, if you ask me. I mean, this whole place is just generally badass. It's like Thor's hammer. I know. Yeah. <laughs> or, uh, who was the guy that had to pull the sword out of the rock? That's what I was thinking. King Arthur? King Arthur, yeah. Right. I, I don't know why I said Thor's hammer. I'm so I'm sorry. Guys. I mean, that's relevant too, though. I guess. I, I, I totally got what you meant. Why do they have uh, Rick from Walking Dead on there? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Rick from Walking Dead. Coral. My name is William. My name is William. Huh. Okay. Rick. This is a Zulu mask right here. Uh, this is from Africa. Mm -hmm. They put this on doors, for example, to protect their homes from bad spirits. They will not be able to enter. Pretty cool. Uh, back here is the kitchen, so we're gonna not go that way because uh, we can't cook. We also don't have permission, but speak for yourself. Mostly because we can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> you can't cook. <laughs> that is not true, actually. I can cook. Forest. I don't know. Okay. Uh, for some reason, also, it keeps mentioning woods and forests. Yeah, tonight. I don't, I don't understand. Know, is there maybe some, like, other mystery that's... Maybe there's something on? connected to the forest nearby or Maybe. something? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, with a place with so much history, right? Maybe we could ask uh, Austin about that. <sighs> Dude, every time I think about the damn uh, crypt, I get chills. It's in here, right? Yep. Uh, I believe so, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. All right guys, uh, prepare yourselves. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of a disclaimer because this could be disturbing to some. Um, yeah. First and foremost, I'm just gonna move this chair out of the way. 
Would you like a mouse? Whoa. Would you like a mouse, little boy? So, okay. Um, <laughs> bro, we don't know what's buried in there. We don't know what's in the no, no. coffin. I don't think anybody really does. No. They just kind of found it, left it, and now you can have dinner above it. Yeah. Um, well, guys, here, I'll take the camera. Sure. I'll give you guys a little bit of a close up. So John was doing a lot of digging on this entire property. And in this general area, he was digging and the floor opened up below him. They took all the rubble out, all the rocks, and they found a coffin wedged in between more of the foundation and rock. They can't get it out. It would take so much resources. They would have to destroy like basically a big portion of the property just to do so. So for the meantime, they put some glass over it and uh, everyone can see it. And actually you can eat on top of it, which mm -hmm. yeah, you could, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, but let me show you the coffin in question because this is absolutely crazy. It's back there. It's wedged behind the rocks. You can see it if, let me try zooming in a little bit. It's really hard to see because the glass is very dirty. Come on, focus, pal. There's a lot of webs under there. <laughs> is there really? I mean, like under the glass, yeah. Oh, you yeah. You don't see all these webs? Dude, that's so crazy to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, now I see it. There's water down there. Mm -hmm. and That's just so scary to think about because here's the thing, Angelo. Mm -hmm. If there's one, God knows how many more are below this property. There could be a lot of these coffins here. A lot of people buried underneath this church, monastery, distillery, which makes sense for how haunted it is because, you know, everyone's always like, well, it's these items, it's the artifacts, which it could very well be. But at the same time, it can also be the bodies that are buried below this property. What the hell? What the hell was that? I have no idea. It's like a creaking up here. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, guys, this is where a body, a casket, was found, and it's... Find my body. Oh, oh my God. My God. <laughs> what? Find my body. Wow. Okay, I don't know if that means, like, I, for us... Where is your, is your body is, not there? Is that not yours? Is maybe someone else trying to communicate with us? Maybe. I mean, if there are more under there. Yeah. It's so crazy because it's like legit stuck. It, it's wedged in those rocks. I mean, what do you think? Oz, it's like a mausoleum down there? Or? I don't know. It smells really weird in this corner. It smells weird, you said? Yeah. What does it smell like? I don't know. Seventeen. I can't quite put my seventeen. What What do you think? Age, maybe. Maybe. Well, earlier said I'm only seven. Oh. Oh, dude, I feel weak right now. Yeah. Yeah. There's still more of this property to explore, which yeah. is a crazy thing. Inspire. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to put this on screen right now. Yeah. Earlier when I said I saw, I remember this because I walked up to the fucking door. When I told you I saw that eyeball. The room, right? The door is labeled Inspire. Oh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Holy wow. shit. Wow. Is the spear that I'm talking with right now from that room? Or was that who I saw maybe? The eye? I don't know. Oh, dear goodness. What was that noise? I don't know. Graveyard. Oh, shit, Angelo. You think of what I'm thinking? I don't want to say it. I'm not going to say it. Going it's not going to come out of my mouth. We're going to the graveyard? What if this is on top of a graveyard? I mean, there's that, too. So we're going to the graveyard. 
I think we're already here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, so there's an entire outdoor portion as well, where there is actually What's your name? the Yasco and Angelo. Sure. Um, like I said, there's an outside portion <laughs> where there's the actual tombstone of the little girl spirit that we encountered earlier in the night. So here's the distillery, which is very haunted as well. The old police department area. This spot is really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. This is where Austin told us that they were hearing the arguments, like s spirits talking over one another, mm -hmm. which could be related to a, the culture war that's going on down here with the spirits and so on and so forth. But honestly, this is just so cool because you never see a location like this. You never do with everything. Where are you gonna go that has a, I guarantee you, there is no other place in the world that you will go to that will have a distillery and a church. <laughs> Nowhere. It's empty. Aww. And we'll find sad. beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now they're all empty. Aww. You can tell because they're all like off. Yeah, yeah. What the hell was that? Okay. Okay. The old police department, huh? Hey, look, it's a torque hole. Why is it even there? Come and go. Come and go. Okay. Listen, oh, listen. What was that? There's something here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's something in this area. Kitchen. Oh, shit! That's a fucking pot or pan or something. Yeah. Okay. There's that. Um, so that's basically a grand tour of the place. Uh, we definitely should start investigating, actually. Um, oh, also fun fact. This uh, area is where they first and still do only develop the Etch-A-Sketch. Fun fact, Angelo. Well, guys, that was it for basically this... What the hell was what that? What the fuck was that? Oh, Angelo? Yeah. What? What is it? I thought I heard like a, like a whistle. Oh. Which is really weird. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to gather myself here. I might need a little bit of this. Oh, um, yeah. Chardonnay? Chardonnay. Nice. My friend. Buddha, I'd rub your belly if... I'm gonna rub your belly. I need some good luck tonight. That is for sure. <laughs> so, all right. Let's head on and continue. Let's go get the rest of our equipment. Mm -hmm. And let's get this night officially started. What the hell was that? I don't know. Okay, fair enough. I'm not gonna question anything. Yeah, yeah. Just gonna keep on going. <sighs> All right, oh. Genghis Khan, I'm gonna rub your belly for good luck. All right, let's carry on. <sighs> I'm just trying to wrap my head around uh, the whole thing about the woods in the forest. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. It's just, it's rare for it to mention anything about woods or the mm -hmm. forest in general. But to mention in such a short period of time makes me wonder that like, maybe there's some more to, I'll do some research in the meantime. Yeah. yeah. Uh, holy shit guys. Now that I've explored every single part on this property, I can definitely say that I think the church is the most unsettling, the most haunted, the most active. Well, it was time for me to go there alone. And let me tell you guys something, it did not let down. All right, Angelo, I know I said that we shouldn't split up again, but we are going to split up again. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, uh, Angel's gonna take the church right now. I'm gonna go take the outdoors area because right now it's actually 3.28 in the morning and uh, we wanna film as much as possible for both channels. So uh, this is the best way. Uh, good luck, bro. Let me know if anything crazy happens and I'll do the same. So you got a whole bunch of equipment. I got some stuff here too. All right, man, good luck. All right, Genghis, it's just me, <laughs> you and me. So I am gonna go to the outside area. Angelo hasn't even investigated out here either. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All these mice are moving right now. The mice are connected to the pulley system that goes outside. This is really weird. This is really weird. Okay. Well, this is a pro Oh shit, this. I literally knew that was coming and it still scared me. Dear God, all right, I'm running spirit talker. <laughs> Damn, that scared the living hell out of me, okay. Okay, so there's actually a story that I do want to share with you about the tombstone, about this girl spirit that is here because it is sad, scary, and it's just downright crazy. So this is like the garden area, which is pretty cool in itself. Very, very neat. Uh, that's the distillery that we were at earlier, but... Yeah, if there's anybody here with me that would like to communicate with me in any sort of way, please come forward. Um, I will also be leaving this REM pod right here. So if you wanna use this sort of device to communicate as well, please do. That's a brand new battery. I just put this battery in. Okay, thank you. Um, can you give us your name? It said no go away. How did I, why didn't I hear that? Oh, my sound was down. Whew. So right over here is the old original tombstone. So Minora Minger, born February 28th, 1894, died July 29th, 1903. So nine years old, uh, Minora was. That is the spirit of the girl who we hear running on the second floor uh, where we're actually sleeping at. So pretty scary, pretty crazy. But uh, so let's talk about the story that I wanted to mention earlier. So this door leads to the neighbor's house that's right there. Um, obviously everyone here is like all cool with each other and nice with each other in a good neighborhood. Share my story. I'm literally telling you the story right now. That's awesome. I would definitely will share this story. Well, the neighbor got close with obviously the owners here, but he also got close with the girl spirit of Minora. Now he brought her a gold necklace with like a circular pendant on it and he left it on top up here. And, you know, she really appreciated it. They shared a good bond with each other, the man and Menorah. I wanna mention that the man is still alive to this day. But one day, someone who was visiting here, whether eating here or just whatever it may be, someone who was here stole the necklace that was on top of the stone, the initial original one. And ever since that happened, when the man came home from work one day or from wherever he was, his whole house was I'm like- You're making noise. You're making noise? Where? That came from that door. It was like a shed. It, it, it literally sounded like, hold on. Oh no, I'm not even gonna bother. Oh, God. Okay. 
like I was saying, one day the man came home and his house was just a mess. Things were misplaced, things were moved, some things were knocked over, and it was all because of Menorah. Menorah was upset because her necklace was gone. Uh, she thought that maybe he took back her gift, or God knows what she was thinking, but she took it all out on him. And this, obviously, he was enraged because the, the necklace, the gift that he left for her, because he had this bond with this spirit, was, was stolen. And that's what's causing all of this like uproar. So he brought another one. So there's another one here, and it's actually epoxied to this, so no one can take it. As you can see, it's like literally all the way around with the pendant, and it's still there. And this, they made a part of the entire wall to basically honor Menorah. And it's, it's a piece of history now. It's a piece of Father John's, which I believe is actually really beautiful, really cool. But it just shows you that Menorah flames. flames. Once again, talking about this fire. <laughs> I don't know if Menorah was maybe involved in this fire, but damn. Whoa. Hello? Something just like stepped right there. Menorah, was that you? Those chimes are creepy. Look how massive this building is. Man, oh man. Well, now Menorah seems to reside in the house portion where they Airbnb out. They put it online for people to actually stay at and a lot of guests experience menorah a lot of people don't even stay the full night because they're creeped out freaked out so yeah. this hasn't went off in a while menorah or any spirit that is here can you please make this go off can you make the rem pod go off for me Maybe they're no longer here. Glenn. Glenn. Glenn with two N's. All right. Well, it is really cold out here, guys. But honestly, you don't really see locations like this. Hello? Okay. I'm trying not to freak out right now, but I thought I just saw something move from right to left up there. Whoa! Holy shit! Okay. Uh, I'm getting a little freaked out right here. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm getting really freaked out. All right, REM pod, you're coming with me. We'll try the REM pod again inside. Oh, man. Frank. Frank. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so the motion light was off. So what the hell did that? Big. Something big. Sure as hell fucking sounded like it. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh God. Well, I definitely want to spend some time in the crypt that's for sure. But I'm gonna investigate a little bit in here as well. What the hell? There's so many sounds, so many like unexplainable sounds in this area. So earlier Austin was telling us that there's a lot of poltergeist activity in here. For example, glasses that are up there or even on the counter will go flying, shattering. And a lot of the People who work here, the bartenders, will quit because of the activity is too much. Object. 
Yeah, like the ones you're throwing. Um, why don't you throw one for me? Prove to me that you're here. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, they didn't throw anything. But there's a lot of movement going on in here right now. You hearing this shit, Genghis? Okay, um... Well, I'll be damned. <sighs> okay, I just heard a whistle. Hello? Who's whistling? Menorah, is that you? Pain. Pain. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry that you are either in pain, you were in pain. Can you maybe elaborate a little bit more about what's causing you this pain? Look at all the mice just chilling about. I'm gonna be honest guys, like I'm, I'm trying to gather some more confidence right now to go and spend some time with the, the the body that's below, but I don't know if I have it in me right now. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna at least give it a shot. Yeah, I'm gonna go give it a shot, and I'll probably do an S. Greet. I'll probably do an SS method in here later as well. So, okay, um, let's have a little conversation with whoever's down there. All right, guys, so I'm in the room where the coffin was found, the crypt area. Um, I'm here, I'm going to be doing a spear box session, hopefully to try and get some answers, some responses as to maybe who's in there, if they wanna share anything, share their story, uh, potentially. Oh my God. This is not like pounding on metal. coming from behind me. Maybe that was like a breakthrough of showing itself to let us know that it's here. So here we go. Hello, spirits. My name is Yasko, Jazz, whatever you'd like to call me. I would like to communicate with you, get to know you a little bit better, Maybe hear you out, hear your story. So if you'd like to come forward and share that for me, here we go. Is there anybody here with me right now? Yeah, hello. What is your name? What the f was that? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I can't leave right now. I can't leave right now. We just got a yes. Something's here. Died. Did you die in the fire? Maybe so. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm sorry guys, I'm freaking out right now. Is that you whose voice I'm hearing right now? Dark. What do you mean by dark? Is it a, is it a bad spirit maybe? 
Is it an angry entity? Yes. Yes. Does this entity, this, this darker entity, does it have a name? How many more bodies are here? How many more coffins are on this property? I say two. I think it said two. Can you confirm for me? Is there two more coffins in all in or on this property? If you guys haven't, like, if you guys are hearing something that maybe I'm not, please let me know down below. Now it's just going crazy. I've heard like seven different numbers in like the past minute, so. This hasn't went off once yet. Still functional. <laughs> Sometimes this won't stop. Sometimes it doesn't go off at all. But maybe it, whatever is here is contained down there. Maybe it can't come up above, right? To physically touch that. How long ago did you die? Did you die in the 1800s? Who wants to know? All right, me. My name is Yasko. I'd like to know. And I think so many more people want to hear your story. So did you die in the 1800s? Did you die in the 1900s? Nineteen tens? Yeah. Can you confirm? Did you die in the nineteen tens? Church. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my God, there's so much going on right now. It, you know how rare it is for it to say like full on sentences like that? Cursed. When I was down here with Angelo earlier, right in the spot, I said cursed as well. What do you mean by cursed? What is cursed? Can you answer one more time? What is cursed here? All those sounds I was hearing, the voices I was hearing completely stopped. Can you give me a sign to let me know that you're still here with me? Yes. Okay. Am I going crazy or did I just hear a whistle? It was like a, f I, I can't f whistle. F it was like a, it would definitely sound like a whistle. This is so surreal to me. Like this whole scenario here is one of the craziest things I have ever encountered in my life, ever came across in my life. As fascinating as it is and as sad as it is, as the, you know, yeah. I mean, that's a very thick glass. It is cracked like in half over here, which is crazy. I wonder what that crack is from because the crack looks like it's from the under half, not from the top the under portion. So I'm wondering if maybe something is trying to get out. I don't know. I don't know the story behind it. But I'll give this one more go.
is the spirit that is below this glass available to speak with me right now? Here. Is there anything that you want to tell me or is there anything that you want to tell the world? I want to double down on that. Can you confirm for me, is there two more coffins buried below this property? Two, so two again. Are they next to this coffin? Yes, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello? Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's over there? Hello? Okay, I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. Angela, is that you? I'm hearing all sorts of crazy sounds down here. Oh, okay. Let me grab my equipment. It's only went off once earlier. So, you know, here's the thing. Sometimes spirits are just turned off by, you know, sorts of equipment. They won't use certain ones. Hello? Okay, I have a really bad feeling about everything. I kind of want to just go over here for a second. Honestly, like throughout that whole exchange in that room, I had a really bad feeling. Uh, I felt as if there was definitely something there trying to communicate with me, trying to break through, but I wasn't able to like, like, like it was cracking through the ice, but it wasn't able to like go completely through it. So I do want to maybe try doing the Estes method in there later. That's for sure. But I definitely want Angelo with me when I do that because this is just wild. That was crazy. It felt as if someone or something was there with me the entire time, following me, watching me. It was just a very uneasy feeling, very unsettling. All right guys, so I took a little bit of a break. I went back into the house area and I waited for Angelo to finish up here in the church and Hello? Samuel. Samuel. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you, Samuel. Definitely uh, heard something in this area. Uh, yeah, Angel and I met back up and we decided to switch. So he went downstairs. He's going to cover the downstairs area and the outside area while I... What the fuck was that? Okay, listen. That... I don't know where that came from, but it just sounded like a door closed again. Because earlier when we were here, we were up there in the... That was a knock. That was a knock. Samuel, is that you? Joanna. No, it's Joanna. Joanna, can you give me some sort of sign to let me know that you're here? This is really cool. The whole organ back there and everything. I would probably, like, and I mean this wholeheartedly, 
if the organ went off, I think I would uh, wet myself. So, all right, spirits, is that angry man here with me? I'd like to communicate with him. I'd like to understand why he does the things he does, why he... Yes, please use your energy. Please come down here and communicate with me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Joanna, Samuel. Just two names so far. Oh, my days. Bro, there's some crazy stuff going on right now. It sounds like it's upstairs. So you know what? Let's go upstairs. Oh, no. She will touch you. If I go upstairs? I really don't want... Oh! <gasps> One of the things Angelo felt in here, he felt like something grabbed his arm. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs then. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Hello? Ah! What the fuck is going on? That's upstairs! Dude, I'm so fucking scared right now. I'm so fucking scared. Hold on. I'm just gonna back myself into a corner. Seems logical. Or Joanna, you, you... All right, I'm coming up. I'm not falling into your trap, Joanna. You don't scare me. You absolutely terrify me. <laughs> but I'm here. People can't hear me. Ah, uh, I, I question that because uh, you're really damn loud. Can you show yourself in any of the mirrors here? Mirrors are claimed to be portals to the other side, especially when they're facing other mirrors, so... Oh, dude, it's really hard to breathe right now. Like the, it's almost like there's not enough fucking horses. Horses, sure. I have no idea what the fuck you mean by that. Hello? Who slammed this door earlier? Joanna? Samuel? Hello? Hello? All right, I'm gonna go check this side in case like the, whatever the hell I'm hearing was coming from over here. Oh, so that's the other door. It is in fact locked. Holy shit. There's something moving down there. Listen, listen. What is that? Okay, hold on. Uh, this side, this side. All right, let's go. Ch okay, it's a random chair. Okay. 
I am so freaked out, man. This place does things to you. Andrea. Andrea. Okay. Um, a lot of names. Even when we were here earlier, lots of names. Dear goodness. Okay, I'm gonna sit down for a bit. Let me grab my phone out. Ooh. So, Samuel, Joanna, she will touch you. People can't hear me. Horses, Andrea. Now, I'm just wondering what the hell horses mean. I can mean a lot of things, I guess, but. Who's back there? Okay. It's coming from the stage. This is so weird. Wait, what did that say? You know what I've noticed too? The REM pod hasn't went off once, which is just wild to me. Oh, dear God, what did that say? Spanish donkey. Spanish do okay, hold on. It said, it said horses before that. Spanish donkey. If you have any idea what the hell Spanish donkey means, guys, does it maybe have anything to do with a, like some sort of religion? I've been here 200 years. I've been here 200 years. Uh, it, you work, right? Okay, why the hell are you over here? I placed you in the middle universe. universe. Crazy I mentioned that earlier because obviously with the, the Buddhist, what they do here is they try to be one with the universe when they meditate and do their own. I wonder if Spanish donkey. Now, what could Spanish donkey mean? Okay, I'm gonna turn this rump out off. I'm gonna put you down somewhere. Cause All right, this place is active as all hell. Uh, I'm sorry for using that in the church, but yeah. The stained glass is incredible. Oh, my chest. Okay, it's getting kind of late. I'm gonna head out now. If there's anything you wanna say to me or do, or show me before I leave. I scare people. I scare people. Ah! Yeah, you fucking do. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. That was the last straw for me. No more alone stuff. I'm not doing anything else on this property without Angelo. All right, guys, it's been a crazy night so far. We've definitely got tons of responses that, you know, we, we can definitely correlate with some of the things that have went on here and the activity here is just not let down in general. But I'm gonna go perform an Estes Smith. Can you see me? No. Where are you? I don't see anything. I did see something there earlier. Yeah, 
we were just filming for Angelo's channel. He said he saw like a misty figure over here. Hmm. All right, well, before I do this Estes method, um, I need some good luck because. You gotta rub Genghis Khan's stomach too. <laughs> I don't piss him off. But, all right, Angelo, mm -hmm. ask some questions in regards to just everything. Okay. I would say everything regarding the property in general, everything we've experienced tonight, um, and hopefully, Maybe we'll get in communication with a couple of spirits. I mean, Menorah, maybe whoever's down there. Yeah. Maybe just in general. We have over 120 years of history here. So a lot of people have come and went. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to sit right here. Here we go. So we'll have Spirit Talker running on your phone. Mm -hmm. On my phone, I'll be running Necrophonic. Once I have these on, I can't hear a damn thing. Can't even hear myself think so. All right, brother, uh, I'm thinking maybe 10 minutes. Sure. All right. Okay. Here we go. All right. Is there any specific messages you have for us? I'm old. Really? How old? I don't mean to scare you. Sure you don't. I'm good. Do you have a name? Two. You have two Why are names. you here? Oh, you know, just visiting. Nick. Do you also have another name? You said two. Something just screamed in my damn ears. Yeah, I heard that. That was loud. What's screaming in his ears? My pain. Go outside. Mm-mm. Not happening. Sorry. It's weird because he keeps saying the forest woods earlier. Why did you want us to go to the forest? Or the woods? More secrets. Is there something hidden in the woods? The others. Who are the others? This is Cursed Land. American. Dude, it said that again. It literally said the same thing to me earlier. Why is this land cursed? What happened here? Fire. But how did the fire happen? Man. Which man? Evil. Mm -mm. That's I'm getting a really bad feeling. Dark. Is there something dark in here? No. Is there something dark in the building? Yes. Hmm. Why, yes. Why won't that dark entity leave? Stop that. I wonder if that's a response. Had a hard life. Okay. It keeps fucking screaming, run. Like, oh, dude, I don't like this. Dude, fucking chills right now. Is there something dangerous here? St oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm not saying the D word. Did you hear that? I'm not going to say the D word either. Two. Did somebody walk towards this room? Me. Who are you? Nick. That's weird. It's like breathing. Who's Nick? I am. 
Okay. Do you know the ah! name? Ah! And... What, what are you doing right now? Are you screaming in his ears? Demonic. Oh, crap. Well, that's fun. I don't like this dude. Are we in danger if we stay here tonight? The girl. Who's the girl? House. The girl in the house? I'm losing energy. Is it Menorah? What in the... It just said, yes, but there's more. Yes, but there's more. There's more than just menorah? It just said, don't go upstairs. Well, we have to go upstairs. What the hell is that noise? Ah! I hate that screaming shit. Dude, it'll be so quiet. And then it just something's screams. whispering to me. Yeah. Hey, hey. And then just ah! Yeah, it sucks you in. Dude, honestly, I've never had this sort of experience in my life than mm -hmm. what I was having right now. I was genuinely petrified the entire time because my eyes were closed. My eyes were closed. Did you hear that? I heard a sound down this way and above us at the same time. That was concerning? Yeah. And I kept hearing something. It sounded like something was approaching and making like, like I heard breathing and all sorts of weird Faces stuff. Faces in fog. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but Faces okay. in fog. Bro, it was really weird. Okay, that's really fucking weird. I was just about to tell you. My eyes were closed, bro, but I was like, it, it was so, my eyes are closed, it's all black. Mm -hmm. But then it starts like, I'm almost like seeing things. It was really weird. And I was seeing like... Tapping? It was really weird because I was like seeing things like morphing out of like the black whatever I'm seeing. Like I'm, I'm envisioning like a black screen. Because mm -hmm. I mean that's what I see when I close my eyes. But it almost felt like it was like moving and morphing. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I've never experienced something like that before. That is really weird. And I was so damn creeped out because, well, one, the screams. Mm -hmm. Any, anything accurate? Uh, quite a bit, yeah. Apparently there's more than just menorah up in the, the apartment area. Yeah, I was starting to put that together in my head too yeah. when he was saying that to me. Archibald. Archibald. That's kind of an old name. Is Archibald the one below us right now? What the f- You felt that? Yeah. That just felt like the whole floor just shaked. Yeah. What the hell? That was unique. <laughs> yeah. It just felt like- Doof. Listen, um, guys, what time is it? I'm late. genuinely curious. Five. Finished business. As I'm about to say that we're about to leave, this and then unfinished business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sorry, but we're going to bed. It's about that time. Yep. Actually, it's about that time like five hours ago. <laughs> but. Yeah, no kidding. Stood up too fast. Yeah. <laughs> stood up way too fast. Um, I'm honestly kind of worried about sleeping now because of what it was saying. One, two, because of what I saw earlier between the crack of the door. Three, because I feel like Menorah's not gonna let us have a nice chill night. Um, so yeah, there's that. Yep, a lot of factors. I wanna say thank you so much for communicating with me. Guys, if you've been watching this video the entire time throughout, if you have put anything together that me, we may have not, please let us know down in the comment section below. Watch both mine and Angelo's video because it's all different content. We have nothing. Let's be friends.
we have nothing in each other's videos that are like the same. So if you could watch both and maybe like put the pieces together from both of them, I, I don't know. Like right now, I'm kind of shot. It's 5.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm not all there. So I'm just looking forward to sleep right now. But I want to say I would love to be friends with you. I would love to. I would love to get to know you a little bit better. If you would like for me to spend some more time here, if you'd like for me to stay here, come back here. Just get, let me know. Give us a, some sort of sign. And as, Send us a text, an email, you know? I don't, yeah, I don't think they got that. I don't maybe yeah. pagers. I don't know how maybe, old they are. Yeah, maybe maybe pigeons. You know, yeah, you know. carrier pigeons. Yeah, absolute mm -hmm. bellend. All right, mm -hmm. see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> um, see me. <laughs> okay. Did I just say see you guys in a little bit? Is it see me? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to bed. Deuces. All right, guys, so here I am in bed, just looking back at everything that happened this night. It, it was a wild ride, to say the least. Uh, everything that we experienced in regards to just all sorts of paranormal activity, this place did not let down. I'm just thinking right now, based on some of the responses that I was getting, and I'm kind of, one thing is just bothering me. One thing that I just can't get through my head. Uh, earlier in the night, when I was in the crypt room, I asked, is there any more, like, coffins that have not been found or just buried on this property? And I said two, and I said two numerous times. And I was just watching some of the footage. I have my laptop right here. And during the Estes method, I said two a couple of times and it was in the same exact area so i wonder if maybe there is some significance to that number two in regards to maybe coffins or maybe maybe something else right let me know what you guys think if you guys have any theories i would love to hear them i would love to read them i really look forward to seeing your comments down below um so i'm going to tell you guys my theory so far uh maybe you'll hear from angelos as well if he hasn't fell asleep yet, I don't know what he's doing, but we got a camera set up in his room as well to document, right, because, I mean, I'm sure we're going to experience fucking all sorts of things tonight, so, I mean, it is what, what's the time, 5.53, yeah, we have to be at another location tomorrow as well, so, as much sleep as we could get, the better, but yeah, when I was outside, I definitely felt as if the spirit of the girl was there. I, I felt her energy. I felt that she wanted me to share that story. What the fuck was that? Um, however, I definitely feel a darker spirit or entity here at certain points, certain, certain spots too, like definitely like hot spots. Uh, I will say we haven't investigated the attic, which I'm completely okay with. Um, if you guys do want us to come back and investigate here again, I definitely want to bring Ben here. I feel like Ben would absolutely love this place. But hey, um, yeah, sorry. We didn't have enough time to f investigate the attic. I know he said that a lot of paranormal investigation teams like going up there. Um, I don't know. I saw a raccoon up there. I think a taxidermy one at the beginning of the video. <laughs> Hey, there was that. Oh, shit. Yeah, now that I mention it, it was unlocked, right? Oh, damn. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm going to stop waffling. I'm just sitting here talking. Uh, I, I'm going to go get some sleep. If I can't sleep, I'll probably try to edit some more. I don't know. But once this... I don't even know what I was going to say. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon. Love you guys so much. Peace. Angelo? Angelo, is he? Angelo? 
What the f*** is that? Oh! What the f***? Yo, you didn't hear that? Hear what? Like something was just like running in here. And then there was like some sort of bang. All right, do you, I can go check it out if you want. The lights are on downstairs. Hello? Is there anybody there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, the attic is open? Dude, I'm telling you, Angela, we closed that. I'm, I'm telling you, we closed the attic. I remember closing this. Dude. Yeah. Oh, it's so cold. That is freezing. I don't know, bro. What was that? I have no idea. Okay. That's a little, a little much. What the heck? The wind chimes outside, I scared the oh, shit out of me. Crap. Is anybody up there? Who opened this attic? You feel that? Yeah. Do you have anything on? Socks or anything? Nope. Neither do I. Oh, I really don't want to go on this. You feeling braver than me, Angelo? Uh, not really. Yeah, me neither. I don't know. Honestly? <laughs> I'm just getting like, really bad vibes right now. Okay, fuck it. I can't see anything. Sorry, guys. It, if you're grossed out by feet like I am, just don't just don't look at my feet. Oh shit! Whoa. What is it? Nothing. I just like almost lost consciousness for some reason. I'm literally like holding myself up against the wall right now. Uh, maybe it's not a good idea to go up there right now. I don't know why. Whoa, bro! What the? F Boy, this is a weird feeling right now. Okay, hold on, hold on, Jazz. I'm just gonna... Oh, this feels so weird. Ah! Oh! The f***ing raccoon! Oh, you piece of shit. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy is right. Oh, yeah, you should be careful. It's not the funnest. There's chairs over there. 
Do you have anything? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, please come up here. That's what I'm saying. Dude, yeah, I know. I look it up and that's all I saw. <laughs> Nearly shat myself. Okay. Oh, there's like a baby carriage. Well, this would have been cool to explore and investigate. Yeah. Here after you, brother. Yo, look at this photo right here. It's hard to oh, see in night vision, but. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very crazy. Okay, well, whatever. Um. Hello? Who's over there? You alright? Yeah. Like losing my balance. Yeah. I, dude, right? Right. I was saying the same thing. Is there anybody up here? Ah! What the fuck was that? Fuck. Dude, are we stuck up here? Fuck, please. Oh my god, that's... Oh, crap. Oh, thank god. Oh! What in the actual... No, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. I'm, I'm out of here.